guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to tutorial video series. And in this video, we are talk about gas law calculation. This is where I'm going to walk you through how you can use these four simple formulas in calculating gas law question calculation. So what I want you to do so was stick at the end of the video, take make sure you take every single thing down. And by the end of this video, guess what you are going to do? Go to your past question, take your jump past question, and select related question based on what you are going to do. Because that is the easiest and fastest way for you to cover any topic. Do that. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn the notification bell because you don't want to miss out every single content we drop. Now let's get started. And let's look at each of the formula here. Here we have about the first one, which was Boyce's law. Now Boyce's law states that the volume of a fixed mass of gas is inversely proportional to well, its pressure, provided what temperature is what kept constant. So this is what Boyce's law here. Then Shaft was state that. The volume of a fixed mass of gas is directly proportional to its what temperature, provided uh, pressure is what kept constant. So just put these two formula in what in mind. Do that. Then here is what the uh, the combined gas equation. Do that or general gas equation. Now when you combine both Boyle's law and Schwarz's law, you get this other one here. Then this one is what is ideal gas equation. This one this P means what the pressure, D means what volume. M means what the mold, R means what gas constant, then C means what temperature. And this is what the gas, the, the, the gas constant, which was 0 0.0821 ATM meter per mole per watt per Kelvin. So for pressure here, now look at the previous unit here, ATM limiter make you our tall. But these two are what common one you are going to use. One ATM equals what 760 watt meter watt mercury. Then volume, volume can be explained what in, in milliliter. Milliliter is also the same about centimeter cube or dm cube. Dm cube also knows what liter you get. So the relationship is that one dm cube is always what equals to one thousand cm cube or one liter equals to what one thousand what milliliter. Do you get that? Another thing I want, I want to know is that here. Now, our pressure here must be uniform. If this one is what ATM, then this one must be in ATM. It's what what meter make you then must be what meter make you the same thing with this, this volume here. If this volume is what CM cube, then this one is going to be what CM cube. If it's what DM cube, then this one is going to be what DM cube. So the gene must be what you need for. Likewise, for other one here. Remember, temperature must always be in what in KV. You get as no one you big to understand that here. Then so what for the general gas equation. Then as time goes on, we are going to what explore this one very well. Now so now let's start solving question with this. So now let's look at the first question here. The pressure on what 1000 cm cube of oxygen gas at what 35 degrees centigrade is what 750 liter watts make you. What would be the volume of the gas if the pressure is increased to what 1000 liter watt make you without what changing what temperature? That is the temperature is what is temperature remains what constant. So this one is what the boy's law question. So now let's try out the parameters very well. Solution here. Solution. Now the pressure on one thousand cm cube. So that is my uh, my volume. My V one is going to be what one thousand cm cube. It's okay. Now the pressure is what seven. 50 watts millimeter watts mercury, which is what P Y equals to what 750 watts millimeter watts mercury. Now, if the pressure is increased to what 1000 millimeter mercury, so that is my P2 is increased to what 1000 millimeter watts mercury, right? Now, asking what is now what would be the what volume, right? So V2, that's what you're actually what, looking for. So now, before you can solve anything, you must first write what the parameters are. Do you get that? So it means that we are using what? P1, V1 equals what? P2, V2. P1 is what is the initial what pressure. V1 is what is the initial, initial what volume. P2 is what the initial what, pre, the what final pressure. V2 is what is, is, is what find out volume. You get so we have already written everything down here. So what are we looking for? We are looking for what V2. So if you should make V2 solve a formula here, divide both sides by what P2 
P two year. So my V two year got to be what P one, V one. Oh no, what P two? What I have to do here is to substitute your parameters, right? So my P one, my P one is what seven, seven fifty what millimeter what mercury times. My V one is what. 1000 1000 cm cube. Oh no, what? My P2 is what? Is what? P2 is what? 1000 millimeter what? Mercury. So you can see that millimeter mercury cancel out millimeter mercury. Then 1000 cancel out 1000, right? You got So I believe what? V2 is going to be what? 750 what? Centimeter what? Cube. So this is the what is the answer, right? So now look at what the next question here. Now this next question is, is a little bit tricky, so I would like you to pay close attention. Now the volume of a gas is what VCM cube. Dines solution here. Then my first volume here is what VCM cube at P millimeter what make it dines. My first pressure is what P what millimeter what mercury. Can you see that? So first one is what VCM cube. Uh, first pressure is what P millimeter what mercury. What is the new volume? So new volume which was V to that what I was looking for, right? If the pressure is reduced to half at a constant, so my P2 is reduced to half. So it's going to be what half times. P what P of what P one you get and P one is what P what millimeter what mercury so going to be what P what millimeter what mercury so first thing you want to understand the question look at that if you look at it again now, the volume of a gas is what V C M so my first volume is what V C M Q now at P millimeter mercury so then they ask you what is the new volume of the gas if the pressure is reduced to half. So my second pressure now is reduced to half of what of the first what pressure here. So and my third pressure is what P what meter make you. So it will be half times what P millimeter make you. P is the same as what P millimeter make you over what two. P what meter what make you over what two. So now let's apply the, the Boyce law question uh, formula here. P1 V1 equals what? P2 V2. You get. So remember, I also look for what V2 here. So making V2 self formula here, we have what? We have what? what? P2 P2. So my D2 here is going to be what? P1 V1 what? P2. You get. So my V1, remember, my V. My P1 is what? P what meter make you. So here I have V2 equals what? P what millimeter make you. Times my V1 is what? VCM cube. VCM cube. Over what? Now this one is what? P millimeter make you. Over what? 2. So this is where you're not going to apply your what your your mathematics here, right? So it's going to be, so how do you calculate this? So it's going to be V2 equals to what P what millimeter what mercury times V C M Q divide by because it's divided here, right? So it will be P millimeter what mercury over what two. Now change what to, to times here we have what P millimeter mercury times V C M Q times two or what P what millimeter what mercury. So this one will cancel out this guy here. Right? So what is going to be two V C M Q. So then my V2 you are going to be what? two V C M Q. So you see the way it look like here. Now this one they did give the value they actually what gave it to what uh Alphabet, you get so this is the word answer. Now let's take on that one. So now let's look at the next question. 
So now let's look at the next question. A given mass of gas requires 2 dm cubed at what 300 kV, right? Solution here. So my green one is equal to 2 dm cubed, right? Then my C one equals to 300 kV. Now, as mean this temperature was going, was going to mean what in degrees centigrade here, I could have it to what to kV, but it's already in kV, right? Now, at what temperature? That is T two. That what you're looking for. Will it will it will it volume be doubled? So D two. That is will this volume be doubled? So it's going to be what two times what the initial one. Do you get that? Double means what two? You get so it's going to be two times two dm cubed. We're going to be four dm cubed. You get so we are using what Schwarz law formula, which is what v1 all over t1 equals to what v2 all over t2 you get so making v2 itself make it make it t2 itself from like here when you cross multiply what, what are you going to get i'm going to get v1 t2 equals to what v2 t1 you get so making the t2 itself from like here divide both sides by what v1 so here we have t to equals to what v2 t1 all about v1 so what i have to do is so what subtract your value my v my v2 is what 4 dmq 4 dmq times my t1 is what 300 kv over what my v1 is what 2 dmq because that dmq comes out of dmq now this one will go, which is two, two times three hundred. Got to be what six hundred, six hundred what kV. So this is the what answer. Now look at the next question here. So let's look at the next question. Two hundred cm cube of what of a gas at two twenty five uh, degrees centigrade exerts a pressure of what seven thirty meter what make you. So I was my solution here. I want my first volume V1, which is what 200 cm cube, right? Now, my T1 equals what 20, 20 what 25 degrees centigrade. Remember, we must convert what 25 to what uh, degrees centigrade to go what kV by adding what 273. So 25 plus 273, 25 plus 273. Here we have what, 298, 298 what, Kevin. So whenever what, the, the temperature is given to me what, in degrees centigrade, I must convert to what, to Kevin, by adding what, 273, do you get that? Then, the, my first pressure is given to me to be what, 730 what, millimeter what, mercury. So if it's volume increase, so my V2, now increase to what what 350 350 what cm cube right my temperature i also increase for what 25 to what 75 so t to equals what 70 what 5 degrees centigrade of course i'll combine what to of course i'll combine what to kv by adding what 273 three four eight Kevin, you get so that they're asking, uh, calculate what calculate the pressure, right? So then I calculate what P2 you get. So he said that you must understand the question first before you can what write all these things out. So we are, we are so we are using what the general gas equation or what the combined gas equation, which is. P1 V1 on our T1 equals what P2 V2 on our T1 2. So this is what formula you are, what you are using in what in your calculation here. Why? Because V1 was given to me, T1 was given to me, and what P1 was given to me. Likewise, V2 was given to me, T2 divided to what to KV here, and we are being asked to work at what P2 here. So what you have to do is to what make P2 is what, sorry, what formula. So how do you do that? 
Why don't cross my ply here? Gary Albert. Uh, P2, V2, T1, right? This time is this. Equals to P1, V1, T2. Right? So, make it P2 yourself from like the Bible says, what? V2, T1, V2, T1. So, this one can have this guy, this one can have this guy here. So, what will be left is what? P2 equals to what? P1, V1, T2, over what? V2, T1. So, what you want to do here is that what? Substitute your, your values. So, my, my P1 is what? 730 times. My V1 is what? 200 times. My T2 is what? My T2 is what? 348 all over what? So, let me wipe this one out. Okay. My V2 is what? My V2 is what? 3 what? 50 times. My T1 is what? 2, 9, 8. You get. So, what you have to do is to what? Punch your calculator and get your answer. Once you punch your calculator here, this divided by this, I would have about 487.13. Remember, the unit of what pressure is what meter what make you. So, these are to what to apply the word formula here. So, now we to stop here. Now, there will be a part two of this video. We are going to solve complex one. So, if you are not subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. And if you get enough value from this video, please hit uh, uh, the like button so I can what spread to other. Uh, persons look for this kind of content like you you get so that will be the end of this video here yeah. so make sure you go to your past question this level what the little what question and so see you in the next video